Simply put, great organizations don't share these fears. Great organizations, those who rise above their peers and succeed in the face of mounting competition, are inherently dissatisfied with where they are and even sometimes where they're headed. They make constant, meaningful course corrections that help them become number one. And once they reach the top, they're suddenly dissatisfied with where they are. So let's get back to the appointment culture light. Remember in the appointment culture, creating an appointment culture session, we talked about how you get appointments. Well, you know, the top three drivers of appointments are managers, managers and managers. The problem is, is most middle managers don't like change, right? They, they don't like things that sound like work. Fact of the matter is, is the appointment culture is work, but ultimately it's less work than that current manager is doing today. Now, there are a lot of reasons why dealers fail at the appointment culture, but let me tell you why you're going to fail at the appointment culture. If you allow your managers to just check boxes, you're going to fail. If you go half in on the appointment culture, you're going to fail. Another reason I see them fail all the time is they give lip service to their internet sales efforts. They don't manage lead counts or activity counts, or one manager tries to do it all. I saw one dealership fail with the appointment culture because they put artificial targets in place. He, the general manager walked around the dealership screaming, I want two appointments a day, two appointments a day, two appointments a day. Nobody leaves lest they give me two appointments a day. So what did everyone on his sales team give him every single day? Two appointments. Were they real appointments? No. They were faked. And once you fake one appointment, you can fake them all. It's easy to set appointments. I can set appointments all day long. That's why people fail. They also fail because they only push this appointment culture on their top people. Or they let the CRM or other technology issues become excuses. Uh, you know, another reason they fail, they're okay with the current customer data collection efforts. See, in the appointment culture, every up gets in the CRM and we get all this great information. Another reason that they fail is they protect the soft prospects, right? They have the 72 hour rule in place. It's terrible. The 72 hour rule basically says if I, if I had an up two days ago and I put them in the CRM and they show up today and buy a car, I get half that deal even if it's my day off. Fact of the matter is I deserve zero of that deal. If, if you have a true appointment culture, you're only protecting prospects within 45 minutes of the appointment time. And the final reason why we see lots of dealers fail with the appointment culture is, is they, they treat it as watching their team sink or swim. So they put it in place and then they just stand back and let people do whatever they need to do. See, putting it, changing a culture, especially putting in the appointment culture, that's like training a puppy. You can't just take a puppy, brand new puppy, put it in a, new, in a room at your house and come back a month later and see how it did because it's going to be a very messy room. You need to have constant course corrections and that's how people succeed.